Oh, good job. Ông chúng mình đã phát mình to cái chấm đặc này thì thi sắm đặc một lần đầu bị cả chuyển từ làm năng tháp nhà làm bài mình to cả tăng thu nội đầu để bộ sẽ xây đồ này ông chúng ra xong chuẩn bị chuẩn làm năng đầu phía kia đường xa thì lại chuẩn bàn chìa phá nơi thay sai thay ông kia thì buồn thay cái nhà cho năm bị bọn đập pí nơi bị liệt rồi xiên ông sắm đặc cá ông chúng ra nâng mình vừa sắm đặc cá xua đỉnh đó sẽ xây để ti đây một là hai ông chúng ra miền cái cá chạm bách từ bị chôm bị phía xa đo sai bàn nhà mua chìm luôn trải nên thông phía kia nâng xa thì lại chuẩn triệp và nhà tỷ pi ông này xua từ đồng nang thà về nhà thà ta cả bài chạy pi về lìa còn ông cá xua đến đào xã thầy đúng đi chỉ muốn nâng hàng cầu mới tại vì đã mình đang rót vào vị trí chẳng may đá bị vô cả bài chạy pi về lìa ní cứ cầu phía kia chẳng pi cứ miền pi về lìa xe xào là nghĩ ní hay nâng bậc sai mới bậc tiền bận nọ Thank you, Mr. President. Um, it might be a, a translation issue. Um, I understood your honor to be saying that we are to conclude the examination of this witness by all parties today and tomorrow. Um, the allocation that was communicated to us by the by the chamber for this witness is two days and a quarter um, if my records are correct um, that equates to approximately 10 hours and 50 minutes so just under 11 hours uh, i've been keeping track of uh, progress we've approximately five hours and 10 15 minutes uh, right now so we're about just under halfway through our examination, um, I need approximately uh, another one and a half hours, so that would be the rest of today and approximately half an hour to an hour tomorrow. Um, and then my friends, uh, civil party lead co-lawyers, have informed me that they need approximately uh, two and a half hours, depending on how many questions remain unanswered. Um, that would still mean that we will conclude our examination in less than the time that was allocated to us, but it would mean that we would most likely need to continue, um, albeit for a brief period of time beyond lunchtime tomorrow. Um, that's, that's the position as, as we understand at the moment. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Sopang, thank you for coming back, and I realize it's been a long day. Um, we have only less than an hour to go. Um, so I hope you will bear with us. Returning to that document we were discussing earlier, D200-9.5, I um, just want to make sure I heard correct that you, in fact, saw a, a finalized version of this document during the Democratic Kampuchea period, that is one without the annotations. Thank you very much. Um, looking at the first paragraph of the document, this is the only paragraph that I will ask you about in the interest of time. Under Roman numeral number one, general information about the enemy and us. I just want to read this passage and see if you can assist us with some follow-up questions. Quote, the strong front line and weak base of the Yuan invaders and the situation 
of hard front line and strong base in all fields, politics, economics and military, both locally and overseas, have been elaborated on in all aspects in the Democratic Kampuchea government's communique by the Comrade President of the State Presidium on December 31st, 1977. All comrades will understand more clearly from this document. Here, we do not need to talk more about these issues. Given that you've seen this document, Mr. Nonsopang, do you also recall that speech that is mentioned here, a speech by the President of the State Presidium on the 31st of December 1977? But, เอ่อลูกบ้านสายพิทอลเอ่อในថ្ងៃ uh, I want to read to you from a transcript of a speech attributed to Mr. Q. Sampong. And I want to see if that, the contents of that transcript are consistent with the words that you heard in that radio broadcast. I'm only going to read a short part of it. It's a long document. Your Honours, this is D108 slash 43 slash 9, and the relevant passage starts on English ERN S00087, Unfortunately, we don't have a Khmer or French version. We've made a request for a translation. Uh, if I have your leave, I will read two or three sentences simply to see whether this content is recognizable or recognized by the witness. Thank you, Mr. President. The speech includes the following paragraph, Mr. Um, I'm going to proceed slowly because the interpreters will have to follow. Just want to see if, if you recognize it. Quote, the CPK Central Committee. The Cambodian People's Representative Assembly and the Government of Democratic Cambodia appeal to the entire party, the entire Cambodian Revolutionary Army and the entire Cambodian people to raise their sense of revolutionary vigilance further and increase, strengthen and expand the sense of patriotism, national honor, and the national soul to safeguard, strengthen, and expand the fruits of victory of the revolution. I'll stop there a little bit further down, just one more passage. The CPK is a correct and clear-sighted party which has gone through valiantly and successfully a long, complicated and difficult 
revolutionary struggle. Mr. Non Sopang, I've only read a, a portion of that speech. Do you recognize uh, those words? Do they sound familiar to you from the speech that you heard on the 31st of December 1977? Thank you. Um, we will move on from, from these two documents. Um, I'm going to ask you about um, a, a few more telegrams and conclude, if I can, with the telegrams um, today and possibly move on to another topic. The next telegram is E3-1076. A telegram dated the 8th of April 1978. And, Mr. President, with your permission, I have a hard copy for the witness and we can display it on the screen. Mr. Non Sopang, this is one of the documents that were discussed with you by the investigators. As I said, it was dated the 8th of April 1978. Um, it, is, it is entitled Dear Brother and it is signed by number 47 on the 8th of April 1978. Do you recall who number 47 related to? Thank you. Um, now, this document in the first three paragraph discusses um, military operations. I don't want to um, summarize beyond that. It speaks for itself. At number four, paragraph four, it says, as for the situation in the base areas, we continue to purge successively. At number five, tomorrow, Comrade Chan will go to meet Brother Pim. Do you recall uh, who that reference in number five relates to, Comrade Chan and Brother Pim? Do you know what the reference in paragraph four for to um, continuing to purge successively, successively in the base area relates to? Do you know what that relates to? If, if you don't, uh, that's fine, just tell us so.
รื่องสำรัดสำรังนมูลฐานขยมมันบานดังเต้ปีปลุกขยมทุกาเนาตะขนมกาเรียไลนมขนมปิ้งยันเนี่ยมันบานดังมันบานเคยกาสำรัดสำรังเจ็ดได้ยังนาเต้บาท Thank you and moving on from the contents of the telegram itself and focusing on the top left hand corner of the document. Fortunately it's obscured a little bit by the numbers there. Um, our translation indicates that those letters State brother Van. Is, is that correct? Are you reading that to be brother Van in the top left-hand corner? Thank you. In your statement. D 200/9 at Khmer e r n 00294541 French 00374937 and English 00483969 You said the following. The handwritten annotation states that Brother Van, that is Mr. Ying Siri, was the Minister of Foreign Affairs. This annotation was probably written by Tay, not Pon. They did not yet place the copied to. Sometimes they forgot due to an emergency situation. Does that summarize correctly your statements to the investigators? In the interests of of being fair, I want to make sure we understand. Also, um, you attribute the annotation to Tan. You say it was probably Tay. Um, did you see Tay's annotations frequently, so that you are in a position to recognize his handwriting? Thank you. Now, if we can look at two more two more um, telegrams that appear to have an annotation relating to Brother Van. The first one is E3-936, E3-936. This is another document that you discussed with the investigators. Uh, Your Honours, I have a hard copy for the witness. Looking at this uh, document, Mr. Sir Pang, Again, in the top left-hand corner, um, the, uh, does the annotation state Brother Van?
Now, this, you, when you were discussing this document with the investigators, uh, you said the following. This is D200 slash 9, or rather E3 slash 67, your second statement. Khmer ERN 00294 French ERN 00374932. And English, 00483964. You said the following. The annotation, brother than, means to Uncle Ying Siri, this annotation is Pons handwriting. Is that correct, Mr. Sapang, that you identify this? particular handwriting is belonging to Pong. Now, just to be uh, comprehensive with, with that document, um, there is handwriting at the bottom of the page in Khmer, which you looked at, um, and you stated that you did not recognize the that handwriting, which states the date of receipt and the copying to the uncles. Is that correct? Thank you. Now, one more document, a final one with Brother Van, an annotation. Brother Van is E3 slash 812. E3 slash 812. This is a, another telegram from number 47, and it's dated the 26th of April 1978. Uh, Mr. President, I have, a, I have a hard copy for the witness, and we can display it on the screen with your permission. Now, looking at this document, uh, if it could be displayed on the screen for everyone to, to see the top left-hand corner, here again, I believe we see an annotation that states Brother Van. Is, is that correct, Mr. And in relation to that handwriting, you said the following in your first statement, E3-64, at Khmer ERN 00328043, French ERN 00411710, and English 00334060. Zone. 
quote, this handwriting reads brother than Yang Siri is Pon's writing because I saw his writing when he brought things to me for translation. Is that a correct summary of what you told the investigators, that you were able, that you were able to recognize this as Pon's handwriting? And it's correct that you were familiar with Pon's handwriting because, as you say in the statement, you, you saw it often when he brought things to you to translate. Based on your understanding of the working procedures, what would be the reason that Pon would have handwritten the name Brother Van on these particular documents that we've been looking at? ปาดเอ่อฮัดพอลโดยที่ซาตูเลยมนต์บนได้คือถ้าสภาพการคือลูกปนบานดังจบัตหาเต่าจูนเต่ากระซูงกาบอร์ติดังใบอ่อยโลกบานเต่าตัวพัวดำเมียนอมปีสภีพกาโนตามพรุมแดนเดลเมียนจ
Pan Smart and Kuai Dor, I Jim Lao, the 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 Jim the Jim Lao, the Jim Lao, the Jim intended questions. The appropriate time for these questions is the defence's examination. Um, I do intend to ask the witness a number of questions about these documents, but what questions I ask, with all due respect, is up to the prosecution. The defence can take their own term, turn and ask as to the sources of the witness's knowledge. Tạ tầm trình một to Hãy đồng lực một đồng tiết nữa xạ xấy Thông trong trang bị chấp bác thà Xạ xấy lời tế Cà ná để bất để luôn bàn đăng bàn lứ bàn khơi trong trăm Hãy dàng tách bằng phốt có miễn bọt vì sao Thông lòng cắt nâng ca sẵn kết Chịa lệ nợ ổng hết bật đà hết hết ca tình lãi đáy Vẹ bọn tình nâng dùm nù Nhi chìa Cả đàn này cách để không cài cho lời tỏm Karena mendeng mencebah, jadi ajar perapi pahel ajar juga tambah di sana tan dapat keluar mandi. Let me ask you a question from your personal knowledge and experience, Mr. Non Sapang. In the meetings that you attended with Pon. Which you described to us this morning. Was there ever a report that documents addressed to the uncles were not being delivered to the uncles? I just want to make sure I understand. In the meetings you attended and in your discussions with Pon, for the entire period you worked with him, you never heard him say there was a problem with documents not being delivered to the uncles. Thank you. Now, one more telegram, and this may be the final one that we address. Your Honours, this is document D200-3.3. Uh, it is a document dated the 7th of July, 1978. With your permission, I have a hard copy for the witness and we can show it on the screen as well. This was one of the documents that you also discussed with the investigators.
it is a document addressed to Ren Fung Company Limited, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Its reference number is 086-HK-78. It is signed by Fortra, F-O-R-T-R-A, Phnom Penh. The, and it may be helpful if we can show that document on the screen so everybody can see the annotations I'm discussing. In the top left-hand corner, Mrs. Opan, there is a annotation which states already sent to Brother Hem an original copy to HK, copied letter, sample of two sets of boxes and then there is a signature and a date 7th of the 7th when you were looking at this document you said the following in your statement D correction E3 slash 64 Khmer ERN 0032042 French ERN 041709 and English 0033405 quote Brother Hem referred to Q Sampong. This telegram related to commerce, so it was copied to Q Sampong. I used to receive Q Sampong telegram, which regarded to the distribution of salt, rice, and fish paste. Is that an accurate summary of what you told the investigators? Thank you. And two questions down from that uh, answer. You were asked the following question. Was this telegram about selling rice? Answer. Yes, it was Ta Rith, the Minister of Commerce stationing in Hong Kong who had sent it. This telegram might be sent through the fax or through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs or through their embassy in Cambodia. Just focusing on that first uh, part, is it correct that you described the author of this telegram as being Van Rith or Tarith? ຈັ່ງເຂົ້າບານນິຍາຍຊິຫນຶ່ງຈາກ <coughs> Thank you. Thank you for being precise uh, on that issue. Uh, it, it makes it easier for us to move on. Um, so I won't ask you any further questions on this particular document. Another type of document that you discussed with the investigators um, was a slightly longer form of report, which I want to show to you and see if we can discuss it uh, in a little more detail. Your Honours, this is document E3-951. It is a communication 
dated the May 11, 1978, and addressed to Ankar 870. With your leave, Mr. President, we can give the witness a hard copy and project it on the screen as well. Now, in your second statement, E3-67, at question and answer 27 and 28, you identified the person sending the document, NIM, as being the chairman of the Northwest Zone. You indicated that it was Nim who had written the report and addressed it to 870. Is that correct? But the June two on car on Bay Rochet, Kuchetram Trow. Tay Yum, when men cheer can not them bond day. Kuchi lay car whom appear. Thank you. I think there was a translation uh, error. I also understood him to be uh, Secretary of the Northwest Zone. Looking at the document, I note that it doesn't have the standard telegram uh, letterhead. Are you able to say whether it was a telegram or a different type of written report? But I can say, when men the ក្រុមខ្ញុំធ្លាប់បកប្រែនោះទេប្រសិនបើជាសាទូរលេខដែលចេញពីកន្លែងយើងខ្ញុំ do you know, and please tell us if you don't, how this document was communicated, how this type of document would have been communicated to Ankara. <laughs> Thank you. Now, in your work in translating and decoding telegrams, did you translate 
from time to time telegrams from the northwest zone from Secretary Nin. บาดเอ่อខ្ញុំក្រាបបកប្រែខ្ញុំធ្លប់បានឃើញហត្ថលេខាលោកខ្ញុំដែរប៉ុន្តែមិនមែនមានលក្ខណៈសារនឹងវែ
internal enemies inside the country. And I'll just read a brief excerpt. In regions, external enemies came in on May 5 and succeeded in encouraging and moving some people away with them. However, when they were trying to escape away with 40 people, we smashed all of them, with the only two that had escaped being under our further pursuit. In Region 4, 5 and 3, likewise, there were sort of people movements, in brackets by enemies, though we smashed most of them. Again, I just wonder if you could enlighten us in the telegrams that you translated whether similar information was reported about external enemies coming to encourage people to flee and then being chased. Thank you. Thank you for being precise. Um, we'll move on from that document. I just want to ask you a, a few brief questions about the trainings that you attended. You mentioned to us that there were trainings that you attended, some dealing with technical matters and some with political matters. Um, where, where did you attend this type of training? Which location was it in? เวียดเรียนสูตรเอ่อมีปีกะไลมวยในเอ่ออัตติตะศาลาปัจเจกะเตสุวิทย์บ่า Could you tell us first who conducted the courses at the former Soviet Institute? And just to make sure that I have that correct, the trainer Pong, is that the same individual whom you had known during your work at B20? Thank you. Now, looking at the other location, the 
a Borikila school. Um, did I understand correctly that you also attended education sessions at that school? បាទប្រជុំធំដំអីនៅបរិកីឡាទេតែលោកសួរថាកន្លែងណាខ្លះខ្ញុំក៏ឆ្លើយថាបរិកីឡាទៅតាមពិតគឺការដែលខ្ញ
ai xong bây giờ mình thay mặt thay nơi nơi ngay ai nhớ nhầm đây nâng tầm nào cá sạm nào cá sẽ đạp tới khay cam sẽ xây đúng đi tại mùi bực tại bên nông lục nông tập phong cá sẽ đạp tới khay cam một lúc nơi mình toàn chọn là loại gì sẽ khay cam trở mình to với nơi ngay ai tiệt đối với này ông nhầm đây xong mình chơi lục một mình to bắt đầu tới khay cam nơi ngay ai tiệt đòi chạp đầu bị mong một bực một trai đoạt ba tờ lá cá sẽ đạp rồi chỉ mùi nâng ông gặp hiếp còn phía sẽ xây nâng lại dùng đến trong cá chun sẽ xây đúng đi lập tới căn tiền lại để có nợ nơi vĩnh hay nâng ngồi chơi con ตลอดมากันก็เลยพอเราจะเข้ามาในขนมปุ๊บสำนักงานนี้วิ่งในประเทศไทยไอ้ในวิลเลียมองประบุนประกอบไอ้อนุเรียมตีคงแข็งนองครูนจนถึงจอบจอดตั้งใบรูปตลอดจากการมันตีคงแข็งในเอาวัตถุกอบเป็นเจ้าหนึ่งไอ้นองครูนกอดตั้งใบเนี่ยมองการประทุกสำนักงานนี้วิ่งในประเทศไทยไอ้ไปบานมุนมองประบุนสำนักเจ้า